All right, what's going on, everyone? So like two or three weeks ago, Mark Rosewater put out a tweet. It was really interesting. It generated a ton of discussion. I know I sound like one of these super drama-oriented channels. That's not the point here. The point is, he asked a question about magic design, and it generated a ton of discussion. There was tons of people talking about it, and I just kind of wanted to offer my opinion much later after the fact when people have stopped caring. But the question he asked is, what's more important in magic design or card game design or just game design is it balance or innovation now the obvious answer is obviously both you know that's that's yes uh, it's a hypothetical question the idea is which is more important and you do get lots of people in this comment thread like saying well duh it's, it's both obviously it's both the idea is if you had to pick one which one would you pick which one's more important now obviously both extremes are really bad like if a game is purely balanced with no innovation then it's boring right like these three creatures are some of the most balanced cards ever look at them a two mana one three a two mana two two and a two mana three one perfect balance but it's boring like no one wants to play with these they're, they're boring in the extreme of innovation are cards that are just so terrible that they ruin the game you know companions kind of come to mind maybe um but yeah there's obviously really really bad examples of both extremes and obviously the correct answer is to have both but which is more important like which one if you had to pick which one makes magic better and I might be in the minority here, but I actually think it's innovation. I know it's crazy because you think, oh no, if the game's imbalanced, then what? But here's my logic. First off, if the game's imbalanced, it can be fixed afterwards, right? Like you, you can't fix boring. If the game's boring, you can't fix it. Boring is boring and there's nothing you can do about it. But if a set or a set of cards, whatever, if, if they're really innovative and they're really interesting and they're really fun, but one or two of them are just completely broken, then you could say, well, that sucks. We're going to ban those. And then the game's balanced and it's also innovative and fun. Whereas if you only do balance, then it's like, well, that's cool, I guess. But now what? It can get boring, right? And obviously, again i keep saying this you don't want all innovation because if it's there's no balance at all then the game is just chaos and you know if you're banning cards every other week then that's a problem and that's been a problem in standard recently it's just too many bans because maybe magic has been too innovative but i think the opposite of being too balanced is more of a problem because i don't think that being balanced is necessarily what's going to keep people interested long term like having a perfectly balanced game means that people will come into it and love it but balance doesn't keep people around long term innovation does and a perfect example of this i actually played a free to play card game recently called astral heroes and i think it might be one of the most balanced card games i've ever played Very it's just a no frills basic free to play game i downloaded on steam and i think it really was like the most perfectly balanced game ever i've never played a card game where like every card seemed relevant every color seemed relevant every deck seemed capable of winning it was an amazingly balanced game and i played it a lot for like five months four or five months and then i got bored that was the problem i started getting bored it was like it was really balanced but at the same time i was just like okay well that was fun now what and that's not the case with magic right like magic is constantly in flux it's constantly like there's there's like a never-ending stream of some sort of power issue something's broken in some format somewhere with every set release you know a set is released in standard breaks and then the next set is released in modern breaks and the next set is released in legacy breaks and then commander breaks and there's constantly something broken like all the time it's true but despite that i've played this game for like close to 18 years 17 18 years and part of what makes it so fun to play long term is how fresh it always feels it always feels like i'm playing the same game but there are so many like fundamental differences with each standard environment and as modern progresses like it feels different enough constantly that i stick around because it's always fun and even if i do leave even if i don't play for like six months when i come back it's different enough that i'm like what's happening what's going on what's what's standard looking like what's what's modern look like what does the metagame look like what's being played and how different is it from when i left because it's always different right and i actually think overall that's more healthy now you obviously can go too far if magic is too innovative and it's too broken and it's too overpowered then you risk alienating players if you ban cards every other month which 
effect. <laughs> it's been pretty close in standard. We've been banning cards every few months. That's not good long term because players are going to stop playing because, you know, they're going to buy a deck and then something's going to get banned and then they're going to buy another deck and something's going to get banned. And you can't do that. You can't keep banning cards. So there is a risk of being too innovative. And I will say that I do think Magic has maybe been a little bit too pushed in recent months, recent years, recent years, yeah, recent years, recent years, like the past year or two, it's been maybe, maybe a little bit too excessive. So I, I'm not saying that we should always be as innovative as possible with every set. And I'm not saying that the current level of innovation is correct because I think that maybe it's gone a little bit too far recently. But I think that just because we've been a little bit too pushed recently doesn't necessarily mean that being bland and boring is the correct choice. I, th I think that innovation is good. I think that pushing the boundaries a little bit and, you know, just kind of testing the waters and, 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 and being a little bit risky, I think overall is healthy. I, though I think you have to be hyper vigilant in how much you're pushing it and you have to be willing to fix it, right? That's the important thing is that it has to be fixable. You have to be willing to say, this is messed up. We messed up. Let's fix this. And if you're willing to do that, and if you can do it in a way that does alienate players, which part of the problem with magic, is the price and people buying thousand dollar decks and then having cards banned it's not good look at me with affinity affinity's dead because of the mox Sobo ban so i have first uh f i have first hand experience here so yeah definitely without question you have to be careful with it but i do think that overall innovation and the willingness to be progressive and trying new things is better than just being bland and boring. And I want to stress once more that obviously you want both. You want to achieve both at the same time. You want to be innovative and you want to keep things balanced. But my fear is that people are so afraid of how far we've gone into innovation territory that we're going to start pulling back and that we're going to be too kind of safe with like the next couple years sets and then it's going to be equally as bad just in the opposite direction. I think it's it's healthy and it's good to just try things and I think overall for the most part Wizards of the Coast has done it right. They've constantly pushed and they've constantly experimented and for the most part I think it's been successful like 90% of the time it's just that you know Know, sometimes it's broken like with basically everything that's come out over the past year yeah that's mm, yeah it's been a problem but overall i still think it's uh preferable to be experimental and innovative over being too safe so yeah that's all i have to say just kind of wanted to offer my opinion opinions are whatever right who cares i i don't like making too many opinionated videos just because why does my opinion matter it doesn't but i just wanted to talk about this because i think it was a really interesting discussion and i i saw on the tweet thread that a a lot of people misinterpreted Mark's question. Like people thought he was trying to manipulate people into picking one. Tr like literally the question was, which is more important? And there were, there were responses saying like, you're being misleading and trying to trick us into picking this one. And it's like, what? what? <laughs> it was literally a 50, 50 question. It was, which is more important. There wasn't, it's, I don't know. It was silly. I, I just, I wanted to talk about it. Cause I think the discussion was interesting and uh, yeah, that's, that's it. I'll, I'll leave a link to Mark's original tweet and you can read through the comments um, yourself. Cause it's it's kind of interesting but uh yeah that's that's just my opinion take it or leave it it's fine but uh yeah that's it thanks for watching everyone and i will see you in the next one